everybody, it's me, John Jumington, former CEO of Jumington Dynamics, broadcasting live from the Jumington Dynamics Auxiliary Hazardous Material Storage Facility, somewhere in the world, and my music is, there we go, somehow muted that earlier, it's always something, Jumington, it's always something, tonight we will be enjoying one of my old, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to call it favorites, Another one from the, I've called it many names, the radioactive treasure box, the uh, toxic time capsule, the hard vinyl storage case containing many of the NES games. In fact, most of the NES games that uh, my family owned in my childhood. Werewolf, The Last Warrior from uh, Data East. Go ahead and fire on. Do, 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 do. Jam it in there. It's an interesting game to me. They're all interesting. They all got they all got something. I got something to say about all of these. Whether or not anyone cares, I don't know. Uh, so this is Werewolf the Last Warrior, released in November of 1990. And it's rumored to have been uh, a Wolverine game originally, and that they lost the license and had to adapt it into something else. I could not find any real confirmation of this. Uh, I, I have seen and heard this a lot, but it seems like they all just circle back around to each other. Like I heard it from this guy, guy A heard it from guy B who heard it from guy C who heard it from guy A, you know, it just all kind of circles around. I couldn't find any conclusive information on it, interviews and anything on it, but it, it's pretty reasonable. That that's the case. Um, the, the werewolf has blade hands and looks Wolverine ish. And there's several enemies in the game that bear a striking resemblance to X-Men villains, such as the Hellfire Club guards, uh, the Juggernaut, possibly Pyro, Magneto for sure, 100%, and uh, a couple flying enemies that to me kind of look like uh, the uh, Genosian magistrates from the uh, mutant hating island of Genosha. Genosha? 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 I think it's Genosha. It's been a while since I read that. The... Uh, Extinction Agenda. That was a good run. That was a really good, really good run of uh, classic late 80s X-Men. So I'm going to pull up. I don't know why I didn't set these up beforehand. I always, I always set stuff up ahead of time. And then when I get down to it, there's always something like, oh, wait, I was going to do this. Yes, the cover. Bring the cover in here. Pretty striking cover. I don't know what, what happened with that. Pretty striking cover. It definitely stands out, this bright yellow. Uh, you got the war wolf, the werewolf. Technically, he's the werewolf. War wolf is the man. Uh, busting out of the cartridge. You can see the circuitry in there. Busting through the box. That's pretty cool. I gotta say, that's that's pretty cool. I like that box art. Uh, however, when you compare it to the Japanese box art, you might feel a little bit cheated. I certainly do. But I, I'll say this almost any time I get... Why has that got such a big background to it? Oh, boy. Almost any time I've got... Uh, see like the Japanese cover on something I'm like man we really got ripped off here look at this badass sculpture that I'm gonna have to move that in a minute look at this awesome sculpture uh yeah that's way cooler <laughs> it's not it's not as drastic a shift as the uh the Mega Man the Mega Man box art that is that is really something these so the story in the game was another interesting thing because if you look on wikipedia you will find a description of the game that is a weird mishmash of the original english and i will say original english because it released in america in 1990 it wasn't released in japan until 91 they actually adapted it from the american release to the japanese release the wikipedia article gives the story of the game is a weird combination of the two so they mentioned that it takes place on the colony world of red earth that's from the japanese version 
is being taken over by mutants created by Dr. Farion. Dr. Farion is the uh, American version, and the Japanese version, it's Dr. Gordon. Which is weird to me. Um, there is a comic that goes along with it, and I think I can, I can pull that in. I'm not gonna, I don't want to show the whole thing, but there's some choice bits to it. Here we go. This is, this is something here. Squeeze this. Control. Interact. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's something, man. It's something. There we go. So this is, this is, this comic is probably why I got the game. I didn't purchase for myself. This was purchased as a gift twice. And what I imagine happened, what I imagine a lot of people around my age, uh, a lot of people were children in 90, 1990, might have received this game if they were fans of comic books and a well-intentioned but confused family member or friend went into a game store and said, I'm looking for a game for little Timmy. And little Timmy really loves comic books. And they'd say, oh, well, this includes a comic book. And they're like, great, I'm sold. And and I would put these kind of comics along the lines of like, if you received a free comic book and it was like the Captain America Say No to Drugs comic, which I got to be honest, was disappointing. But really, have you ever read this, this comic book, the Captain America anti-drug comic from that time? Because the drug dealers are aliens. It's, it's insane. Captain America goes to war on drugs. Be yours for 20 bucks, thereabouts. Uh, it, it is a wild comic. I, this, I think this is it. There may be a newer one. It's pretty crazy. Captain America goes to war against drug dealers, and the drug dealers are like nondescript white guys in trench coats. And then when he battles them, it ends up that the trench coats are disguises and they're actually extraterrestrials. What kind of messed up message is that for kids? Because someone's going to read that and be like, well, I'm glad my drug dealer is not an alien overlord. These drugs are safe. They come from Colombia. You know, <laughs> I think that kind of might confuse the issue a little bit. Anyway, the werewolf, the last warrior, um, which tells the story of werewolf. Chief Warwolf, who uh, has a prophecy of the world ending and then uh, is sent by the spirits to go to this cave and train. Meanwhile, uh, Dr. Lawrence Farian, world-renowned genetic scientist and secret advisor to the Pentagon, is on vacation and comes across this cave. This panel I love. Farian's train of thought is derailed by a mysterious inscription, sparking the famous doctor's curiosity. To which the doctor says, probably some ancient mumbo jumbo about don't open this cave or else as he pries it open with the stick he found on the ground. Folks, if you're dealing with supernatural stuff, don't send the scientists. They'll screw it up. Nine times out of ten, they'll screw it up. They'll end the world for you. Anyway, opens it up and uh, becomes uh, possessed by the evil contained within. <laughs> because he's deranged face. That, you're right. We can show them. Yes, back to Washington. The fools. Meanwhile, Warwolf uh, goes into a cave to train and receive the powers of the werewolf. While Dr. Farion has these people, who I also love, who are loading this stuff up in, uh, <laughs> in the space shuttle. Because that's how you're going to get it in the atmosphere with a space shuttle. You could do that with planes, too. Loading this bad mamma jamma up. Uh, and here's these guys loading the stuff up. What is the stuff anyway? Man, I just load it. Well, if they haven't just captured the American public's view of government contractors so succinctly. Now, I'm not going to say that's my view. I'm not going to say that's the correct view. But I will say that is a very widely held view of government, government work. There's a reason there's the expression good enough for government work. Uh, <laughs> man, I just load it. 
Oops. And now you're a toxic sludge, man. Yes, Dr. Farian. I will, Dr. Farian. No. Good. So while Warwolf is inside this cave, receiving the power, there's the Hellfire Club guards. 100%. And they're even, the, the resemblance is even more uh, astounding. These guys will wreck me when I get to this level. They're destroying a new station. Yeah, they're definitely like 100% like the guards in fact this right here looks like a lot like iron man's mask but they sort of the mask to the hellfire club guards in the x-men comics so he comes out and finds his uh spiritual guide kinju is dead and his spirit is crossed over very odd what have you done i will destroy you it's worth checking out it's worth checking out i suggest you uh look it up i don't want to go through the whole thing i don't i don't know about that it's, it's what Copyright and so forth. What is this? Oh, that's the day of the tentacle. I leave that up for later. I had a lot of fun playing that last night. I should have stopped it like an hour or two earlier. If you were here for that, it ran very late. And I worry that I am so close to the end that the next stream will be extremely short. That may not be the case because I am slow at these games. <laughs> it's there, there's several times that, and, and also as soon as I closed the stream and I was heading off to sleep, I was like, you know what? You know what? I think I got it. I think I got to try this. <laughs> it's it's like I kind of wish I had kept at it, but at that point, like the viewership had dropped off, everyone was fading out, and I was getting tired too. Like I really should have cut this like an hour or two before then, and then I have more. I gotta get better at that. I need to spend more time actually looking at like how long to beat numbers and like calculating out. Okay, and I should split the stream into this many streams of approximate length. And then plan to have, you know, a floater there. Because I've run into so many games now where I get to a point and it's like, oh man, I'm really enjoying this, but it's getting late and I got to get up. I'm sure there's more. And I'll come back the next stream and it's like, well, here's 20 minutes and it's done. I'm like, I couldn't just, oh my God. <laughs> so anyway, we're off the last warrior. Uh, the instruction manual doesn't uh, give you a whole lot else to work with. Uh, I will destroy you, Farion. But in order to get to Farion, you've got to battle your way past his army of death slaves. Nothing in Farion's new world can be taken for granted. Evil looks everywhere. There are five levels you must clear in order to reach Farion. So there's only five levels, which doesn't seem like a lot. But they can be pretty torturous. Easier said than done. Each level is protected by one of Farion's level bosses. And they get gnarlier as you go along. But you've been granted the powers of the great spirit, Warwolf. You know what you must do. The time has come to live your vision. Destroy Farion. So hey, your punch jump. And nowhere in the manual does it tell you, not that I saw, that if you want to jump higher, you have to hold up and then press the jump button and you'll jump higher. And that is quite essential to navigating the game. Uh, but it does tell you how to look at your scoreboard. The scoreboard actually does matter because if you get 50,000 points, you get an extra life. And boy, you're going to need them. Because I think this game only starts you with like two or three lives, and then that's that's it. Um, it also goes on to describe the items, including a passage that I have never seen anybody confirm any way for this to work. Which is, uh, through the game you'll find these power-ups. You'll find a red W and a blue W. The red W turns you into the werewolf, if you are human. The blue W will transform you from a werewolf back into a human. If you already are a human, it will do a massive amount of damage to you. Uh, there's also hearts that heal you and bubbles that increase your anger points, which is how you transform to the super werewolf, which is yet another Wolverine thing. You got to get mad to get powerful because other Wolverine, I think there was the LGN Wolverine game. You raised anger to get going to a berserker rage. Uh, the things you, they can make you uh, invincible, smaller ones that will destroy all the enemies on screen, some healing stuff. But there's a note here. Farian will try to trick you with the blue W, which will transform you from super werewolf or werewolf back to human. If you're already human, it will make you lose life points. However, there is a way to turn the tables on Farian and use his blue W in combination with a red one to go directly to super werewolf status. I don't think anybody has ever found this method. I don't believe it exists. And that is the general consensus. Everywhere I've looked is that that's not real. That's an absolute lie. The only thing I could think of, because you can't pick up items like there's no inventory to pick stuff up and combine them Resident Evil style, right? Like you're mixing herbs. The only one thing I could think of 
is enemies that you defeat can drop blue W's. I've never seen an enemy drop a red W. But if an enemy could drop a red W, it is possible. And that's assuming that's true. That's something I've never seen. And it's possible that you could get two enemy kills right on top of each other and have the red and blue W there and grab them both at the same time. That's the only thing I could think of. And it seems if it's even possible for an enemy to drop a red W, it seems like the odds of that are astronomical. I'm more inclined to think that that is just a flat out lie or something that got cut. I, I don't know. I've never been able to find any information on it. I've seen lots of discussion. I've never seen anything. I, I'm waiting for one of those behind the code guys to dig into it and, and find out like, well, the thing is that they referenced the wrong Brit and it failed. Kind of like how uh, Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden uh, has unlimited continues and generally uh, it will send you back to the start of the level that you died on, except for the final boss, which has three stages. And if you die any one of those stages, you go back to the beginning of that level not the stage that it's on because it's usually like six one six two six three etc uh and usually if you died in like six three you'd go back to the start of six three but the way they handle the math in that means that they send you back to six one if you die at the end boss which means you have to go through the entire uh stage all the levels of the stage over again which can be rough um that's about all they they tell you in that you, there's you can get bonus points for your score which 50,000 points will get you an extra life. Super werewolf jumps higher. You can climb on the ceiling. You can backflip, et cetera, et cetera. But the jump thing, I don't think is mentioned anywhere. It just says B button jump. And this is one of those A and B flipped buttons. The Japanese version of this has a completely different story. And they reworked some of the levels. At least the first level of the game is completely different in the Japanese version. The Japanese version released as Cho Jinro Senki Were Warwolf, which roughly translates to Super Werewolf Chronicle Warwolf, uh, which is the story of Ken, the last of the Beast Men, on the Red Earth, the colony, the the extra uh, planetary colony, Red Earth, where Doctor Gordon has created an army of bio mutants. And Ken, the last of the changelings, must uh, transform into a werewolf in order to battle him. And if you look, like I said earlier, if you look at Wikipedia, the summary they give is a, is a weird combination of the English and Japanese stories. And I have seen this repeated a number of times when researching the game, uh, where people will talk about the game and then they would deliver a blurb that was a rewritten version of that, but it was the same thing like you're on red earth like no you're not man which one are you playing which one are you talking about here are you talking about werewolf or are you talking about super werewolf chronicle werewolf they're different games they're subtly different games they're slightly ever so slightly different games so this game as i said was put up by data east data east was real big in the arcades and then they had a lot of uh i i'm going to say not great um uh, adaptations, ports is the word I'm looking for, ports to the home console. The NES just did not have the power of arcade cabinets at the time. So, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja is a pretty rocking game. Bad Dudes on the NES is pretty rough. Robocop in the arcade was decent. Robocop on the NES is rough. Uh, Karnoff. I've never played Karnoff in the arcade. Karnoff is rough too. Karnoff is also fun because Karnoff is one of these characters that it seemed like it was a running gag to throw him into games. I see him get tossed into games. A lot of games not made by Data East. People just love throwing Karnoff in there. It's also the uh, start of his own game. I think two games. He's also the one of the bosses in uh, Bad Dudes. I think the first boss. Good old Karnoff. And that, that, seeing that name was like, oh yeah, I remember Karnoff. I remember the Karnoff days. I remember people were all over Karnoff. I think that's about all I got to say about it. Yeah. Um, Data East, sadly, is is no more. They they produced, uh, you know, games. You probably, if, if you're from my era, you're probably familiar with the games. Bump and Jump. Bad Dudes, Karnoff. Heavy Barrel. Robocop. Of course, Werewolf. Um, they're good in a lot of, like, side-scrolling beat-em-up style games. 
uh, pretty decent. They went bankrupt in the early 2000s, and their properties uh, are now now belong to a couple different companies whose names I neglected to write down. It's not really important. I don't think they're doing anything. I don't know if they're doing anything with them. They might be doing some re-releases or something, but just another one of the, the old, like, the vintage uh, classic game developers that is no more. Uh, they have sadly moved on to... I was going to say bigger and brighter, but I don't really know that's true. They move on to other things. Um, such is the way of these things. So this game, from what I what I remember, I, I used to be able to get fairly far in this game, but there's some stages that are just ultra punishing. And it just pains me to think of them. It's a fun game. It I remember the controls being a little a little rigid. It it plays a lot like Ninja Gaiden, but the controls are are not quite as good. And Ninja Gaiden, the difference between this and Ninja Gaiden is Ninja Gaiden is difficult, but I want to say it's fair. It's a solvable thing. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies on the screen. Yeah, they like to wait until you make a jump to pop out. But that's a lot of classic games of the time relied on you playing through it and memorizing where enemies would jump out and knowing, like, don't jump now. You got to wait, edge closer. And then if you're really good and you really get it, and I'm not going to say I am, you can learn how to jump at the right moment or stand at the right point to manipulate where enemies show up in order to get better uh, RNG for enemies or to control their positioning so that you can just jump over them and duck by them and stuff. That is some higher level skill that I'm not sure that I have at my uh, at my disposal. But uh, it's just it's just it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough in the controls. Um, there's something going on with with the hits too, where I I want to say it's something like every other hit. If you don't move and just jam the attack button, it'll just not count every other hit to discourage you from just standing there and hitting bosses. Because a lot of the bosses you could just stand there and wail on them, but it just like they have the bosses have enough iframes, and then it just like stops counting your hits to a certain extent so you kind of have to move around even though it's better just to kind of stand there you'll see you'll see it's got some solid music though but i mean maybe my taste is not that great but i i enjoyed the music it's a limited soundtrack this is often the case there's not a ton of different songs but what's there is solid and it has i want to say the the lead up when it gets to the main theme the main werewolf theme where it comes from where it comes in and how they set it up the first time is one of the the best intros of a of a game theme for this style of game i i think that is out there it's kind of spoiled by the fact that you just hear it all the time after that but when when it first kicks in the first time you transform into the werewolf and the theme kicks in whoa perfect just perfect so i've never finished this game but i also never played it with save states now I'm going to try to make minimal use of save states. I will make a save state when I've completed a level, but I don't, I'm not trying to use them to get through levels, but it's mostly a backup because I don't want to have to go back and do the whole, the whole game over. This isn't, this, that's not my thing. I just, I would like to finish the game, but I'm okay with finishing it with some cheese. Um, it, it's just, you know, the game's got limited lives and I don't want to get killed trying to learn a level and then have to go through everything all over again which well that's kind of how you're expected to do things on the nes so without further ado let's just jump into werewolf the last warrior and uh I'll check it out As always, if the audio is not to your liking, please let me know. I'm gonna let it roll. The story here. A new and a, <clears throat> a new and evil presence has captured the planet, led by their mad creator, Dr. Farian. A band of bio monsters has imprisoned nearly the entire population. Every weapon tried against them has proved useless. I'm hitting any buttons advances and just kinda wait. If I hit start, it'll just get past him. Here's Dr. Farion. Only one man has the power to stop Farion. Werewolf is all that stands in the way of the destruction of our planet.
Yeah. You alone can restore order to the world. You alone are the werewolf. Here we go. Is that the most advanced transformation? Oh, yeah. I always thought that his hands looked too more like hooks than blades. It's not just like blades like swords, but they're kind of hooked on the end. That's why I call them crowbar hands. These came out, what, a year, two years, a year, full year before Terminator 2. After that came out, I immediately thought about this game with uh, the T-1000's uh, liquid metal hands that he was running after him that kind of hooked on the end. It looks just like this. I'm sure neither of them have any connection to each other, but it is a fun thought. No more heroes, fuzzball. Your time has come. I don't know who's Dr. Farian, I assume. There's our spiritual guide here. I am the spirit of Kinju, and I will be your guide through this quest. Be watchful for the sign of the werewolf. Pick it up and feel your power grow. Just a sinister look about him. Alright, so Warwolf, which is the human, has uh, not a lot of options, but he does have the ability to charge up this energy blast, which is slightly better than just going in there and punching. Here we go. This is the, the kickoff of the, the main theme. Yes. Now you're powerful. Now you're strong like the werewolf. What we're saying about Ninja Gaiden is very Ninja Gaiden esque. I gotta pause it because there's there's a clock going on the chat for a second with it. Um. Yeah. So you you have your special attack as as werewolf. You hope that you never become werewolf, which is the man beneath the beast, because he takes more damage. He does less damage. You can't jump as high. He's just, he's not that great. But he does have a projectile energy beam. And you hold down the attack button and charge up. If you hit that attack button real quick after you fire it off, he'll stay charged. And you can just wander around and, and blast again. Which is very useful for these enemies. If you find yourself in the situation you need to be him. If you do, you're playing on hard mode. It really sucks. You're going to die. Probably. Uh, it's rough playing this in. But sometimes you, know, you get to that. You will transform back into him if you pick up the blue W. Which the game really does try to trick you into picking up. It tries to trap you numerous times. There are areas where if you you get like random items by hitting different parts of the level. And there are areas that you can get trapped in such a way that if you hit the, the block in front of you, there's not enough height for you to jump over it and a dodge a blue W that comes up. So you can really gotta be watching. You can really be careful. It gets real tricky. The werewolf also has a charged up weapon. That does a decent amount of damage, but it also damages him. So it's a double-edged sword. I don't really use it that much. The werewolf can also, uh, you know, he can jump higher. He can climb. And climbing is a little touchy. You got to be just the right, like, position away from the ceiling to climb. You can also climb on the walls. And it's just, it's not, it feels stickier than Ninja Gaiden. There are times, sometimes we just wouldn't grab the wall at all. I'm not sure what I did wrong. It's iffy. Joke not signs imply that you want you to do something to it. Some of them have, them, some of them don't. Oh! Already getting wailed on by oh! missed button presses here. Is that it? I think that's it. So I got an anger pellet. Ninjas. Timer is good. Die already. If you're not careful, just like Ninja Gaiden and many other games, enemies will just keep showing up. You're supposed to climb over the ceiling for that. I'm invincible right now, so I don't care. 
The bullet. There's a one up down there. Not down there. Down right below me is a full heart. Don't need it. Not gonna waste time going through it. There's the timer. You'll die. Hey, Utter. Hey, something. Welcome. Um, coming up here, there is a one up, but it can be real tricky to get out of there. It's right there. You might die getting out of there, so <laughs> you may just waste your time. There's a blue W. Don't want that. I'm gonna trick you. Always a good idea to duck with these guys, because they like to jump, and if you're too close when they jump, you'll get kneed in the face, like that, even when I'm ducking. Yeah, hitboxes are quite fun in this. So there's another blue W. They're always trying to trick you. I know I can just tell by looking at this where the blue W's are. There's a blue W right here on this one. Look at this just so I can collect my junk. There's either nothing or a blue W there. Points. Points are good. We can check our score. High score 20,000. We got a 19,000 and six lives. So we're doing all right so far. It's a good idea to just hit everything that you come across because there's gonna be stuff. A lot of levels give you invincibility like right at the start. You can pick up these bullets, it's kind of goofy. The bullets do not work for hitting things but they kill enemies, you only get one though. You get one shot, you get a singular shot <laughs> from that. But there's also a backflip option, which comes in real handy because if you uh, jam yourself all the way to the edge of the screen, it will prevent stuff from uh, spawning. Even this stuff. Unfortunately, I can get it in time. But if I jam all the way over here, no lightning. See, normally there's supposed to be lightning coming out of those. If you get it out of there quickly, you won't see any lightning at all. It's not as bad as later stages. Okay. You are invincible while backflipping. I'm gonna get over here because healing item. It's our first boss. Just got a whale on him. There's not much you can do. You can try and dodge that stuff. You want to get over the tomb quick, because if he gets down on the ground, he'll shoot at you and it's a pain. Otherwise, he dies quick, as long as you're the werewolf. If you're a werewolf, you're gonna get your ass kicked. So that's just some random government worker I just slaughtered. <laughs> Look, it's the Juggernaut! Iron Head. Your furry little body is no match for my strength, because I'm the Juggernaut. Totally looks like the Juggernaut. Can't tell me it's not the Juggernaut some more spiritual guidance. Most of this information is kind of useless. Or, or, it's... You can just figure it out. There's much value in the underground waterways. There's also much danger. You may find that avoid the trouble is as valuable as confronting it. Get over here. That'll save you from getting shot at a little bit. Not a bad idea to be back flipping all the time. Come on back. Okay. See that stuff assumes that you're in the middle of the screen. See, there's a blue W up from that guy. That rage. Woo! Well, that actually could have gone really bad. Just stuff everywhere. But you gotta hit it just right. Okay, probably nothing there. You can backflip through this, but if you time it wrong, you'll just traverse yourself into hell. Is 
The hitboxes are really rough, too. You might find yourself misjudging a hitbox. I've seen that guy, like, enemies like that drop blue W's very often. It's very aggravating. And then you're stuck trying to jump over them. I think there's a blue W there. I'm not going to risk it. kind of a waste. Get out of here. So that's the brood. A notorious X-Men villain, the brood. Now I am the super werewolf. He jumps higher. This stuff is relentless. Does more damage. Come on back. Jumping higher is not always a good thing. There we go. And while you're uh, in super werewolf form, your uh, rage is constantly depleting your anger. This is my favorite stage. <laughs> I think you'll see why when I finish it. I don't remember there's any enemies on the stage. The only thing that happens on the stage is that there's lightning that comes out of the sky that is a one hit instant kill. As long as you know how to, where it's coming from and how not to get hit with it, you're okay. Get that invincibility. Is. But I'm invincible, so it's okay. Alright. Oh, they got me. <laughs> See, that, the super werewolf is kind of suck if you're platforming. If you're fighting a boss, the super the super werewolf ability is cool. If you're not fighting a boss, the super werewolf ability is butt. No! Backflips into the void, just like I said. Expected him to grab onto the side of that. Now off to a bang and start here. the touchiness going on there. Sometimes it just doesn't want to get down. Very generous with the invincibility there. Thought he was not going to uh, grab onto that. That time is good. Down here. Nope. At some point, you gotta go down. So this is. Nope. This one over. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna crawl down to my doom here. Get down off of it. Nope, I gotta go down this way. Alright, here we go. A bit of invincibility juice and some more time. Rage. 
And now we just ride out. And this is the end of the stage. This is the best part right here. I did all that climbing just to plummet to the streets below. <laughs> what was the point of that? And this is the same city block too. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Try to get fancy with the back flipping. Oh, I gotta do this again. Four lives left. No score. I don't mind doing some of it, but once I get later further in the game, I'm not going to want to do this all over again. <laughs> Just like that. All my lives wasting away. I wonder why I never got anywhere in this game as a kid. specific way you've got to interact with all of this stuff to not get struck by lightning. Usually it's just by being invincible all the time. Get! Let's get stuck to walls when I don't want them to. Every time I jump a little too high, the invincibility goes away. Give me the juice! Safe straight there. It killed me. <laughs> if I if I load that, well, I screwed myself because <laughs> it's just gonna drop me. All right, I may already be starting starting fresh just to get my lives back. Off to a banging start. I'll tell you that. Oh, not today, sir. Seriously. Oh my god. It's so mean with the items. Let me get my item. Saw so, as soon as it was happening. How many lives do I have left here? Nope, not that. At this point, I might as well just start over. Absolutely not going to have enough lives to uh, continue that. There we go. <laughs> so that's one. <laughs> Juiced. Oh, 
These guys get tougher. You'll encounter them. At one point, they call it, they call him Big Head. Just want to see this again. Did that on purpose. <laughs> Just to see this thing again. So you can see, like, the shape of his ears and everything, like, is very, at least in that, very Wolverine-ish. This game definitely has, like, the, if, we, if they don't get you the first time, they'll get you the second time kind of mentality with the enemies. It's very much like, oh, you dodged that, but you went too far the other direction? Too bad for you. Don't need it. Time is always needed. You always want more time. Because you'll get to, like, <laughs> you get to a particularly rough area. And then all of a sudden, you'll be ticking down the clock. You don't want that weighing on you. One hit away from finishing the end boss and the clock runs out. Every time. When will I learn? Damn you bats. I get my points up. I don't know if those give me points. I just kind of assume they would. Give me my rage. Give me my anger. Pull the backflip off more efficiently this time. Get all the way over there. Safe. Yeah, a lot of things you trigger like in the next stage, all the dynamite you throw in the street. Uh, assumes you're in the middle. So even if they throw it, it'll throw it in the middle of the screen. I want this. Just wail on this dude. Where is it gonna come from? Here you go. And you're dead. Not a very challenging one. You get messed up just trying to dodge those balls, but just backflip around. Super being Iron Head. Yeah, right. Your fair little body is no match for my strength. Sketchy looking dude here. I'm totally not evil. He might not be. He probably is. All the way over here. I'll just kind of slide down into the sewers here. Alright. There's definitely a blue W up there. There always is. Get out of here. 
All right, let's be tricky. Let's do one super jump. We'll get you over that. I don't trust my back flipping to get me through that without dying. See, I thought I cleared that. Apparently not. It's wonderful when you damn bats are going to show up again. Oh! What's up here that's worth getting? Gotta be something. Oh. They got me. I fell for it. I fell for the trap. You also can't use bullets as a human, which is oh so fun. Goodbye, Ron. Guy! Guy! Oh my god! I'll never escape these mean streets. I don't think I could even jump up there. Oh! <laughs> Bounced me right into the W. That's certainly not a W. That's what I'd call a big L. Are you? There we go. Get down in the sewer. Get. It's never a good situation to be in human form. Like ever. Go. I'll work out. It only costs us one life. Ooh. Yeah, we're still doing okay. That's six lives. That's why I like the video game. It very well could be. Alright. Nope, that did not get us any points. No werewolves in it, though. Which I believe would be... Oh, almost got me. You'd think you could jump over these, but the way the hitboxes are, sometimes you can't. At least I can't. I'm not going to go over there. I know there's a blue W over there, and that's about it. Those bullets are damn useless. Flip! Dang it. Come on down! I'm bouncing. Bullet! Let's see if there's some help down here. Very well could be. Got some rage. Money! There's the health. No, thank you. So this is like, I'm not gonna go back there. Because it's very likely that what's back there is a blue W. Waiting to get you. Oh! 
Oh. Who's dynamiting me back there? Absolutely relentless. No mercy. Ha! Stick him and run. Come on up. Come on up, chump. Come on. Take it. Fight. A, a crowd is gathered. They want me to beat up the juggernaut. That's a good spot. That won't get me killed, in theory. I am invincible! Get it? Let's go. Get! Oh! No! Not really where I want to be with this. To be honest. I just miss out on all of those, so if lightning comes for me now, I'm just done. <laughs> Super Werewolf got some nice jumps, you know. Not much else. Jumps too high. Get on there. All right. Let's get juiced up. Get timed up. If you are very careful with the rage, you know where all the stuff is. You can set up much easier fights with than what you got going on with these. All right, round two with the Juggernaut or Iron Head. Get him one more. If it'll let me, it won't. <laughs> Do it, or wolf. Yeah, it's very. Uh, I'm getting. I got impatient with it. That's why I got my ass beat at the end there. Saw that cave. Superhero. Giant head. A fool such as you stands no chance against me. Giant Head is a guy I beat. You basically fight him like every stage. I don't know why they even list him as a boss. Madness Base. Next for being Fireman. It's essentially Pyro from the X-Men villain cast. I will get great pleasure from watching you burn. Oh, this will be fun. I think there's a red, red W pretty soon here. Within this stalactite cave lies the entrance to a secret... Be wary, for Dr. Faya protects his interests. Trads are everywhere. Trads are everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be traps, but it always says trads. I don't know why. Get in here quick. Don't get burned. Don't hold out the money. I know there's money. I have played this quite a bit, this level. So I'm pretty confident in it. There's a lot of blind jumps. Tread wives are everywhere. Dude, that was the first thing I saw thought of when I saw that, and I just didn't want to say it. It's like, they're talking about tread wives. I don't think I can try and get crafty here. I think that's the best I could do there. All right, I believe the 
this will get me... Yep. All right. Those crafty blue Ws. Money! That's our points at. 27,000. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. We're looking good. They kind of get you with that. Thankfully, he rebounds. You can see what I'm talking about when I mentioned earlier about, like, every other hit, it just doesn't count. It's like, no, nah, you've had enough. It's kind of brutal. It's It definitely tips the favor in the boss's... It, it tips in the boss's favor. Put it that way. Thank you. Can I dodge this? No! Botched it. It's alright. There's a... If I... There we go. I could live through that. Flippin'. It's fine. I'm pretty sure I will have the opportunity to acquire more health here. I don't remember which of these is the trap. That's the trap. We just do a super jump. Take us over that just fine. Get some time. Time is always on our side here. They will shoot if you sit and wait long enough. They will shoot. But it takes them a good long while. Oh, jeez. We can't even see the, the uh, sparks there. Those aren't spikes. It's supposed to be electricity in there. Why it damaged me, I do not know. This, this is going to be fun. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't push the first box. It is a good siren sound. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> was that the same? That wasn't the same one. That was a different one. This is just hell. Get over there. All right, that's not too bad. Waste of time. Just gotta stay all the way in the edge. Where's 
does this go? Anywhere? Anywhere that I want to be? Oh boy. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I thought I could get fancy with it. Not lined up properly. You can pull it off. If you're better than I am. Get out of here. Yeah, this level I, I don't remember as well. Also, if you look at these guys when they see you, they say, oh, but oftentimes they'll be backwards and instead it will say, ho. Snap. Always with the blue W's, man. They're thick with them. Lousy, even. Alright. There we go. The reason I thought those were electric spikes. Oh. Well, I screwed myself on that one. What else we got left? We're gonna lose all of them. I believe this hole will take us to the boss fight, probably. Maybe. Oh, just to this hell. I might as well just die here. In fact, I will die here. <laughs> Warwolf needs a nap. It's not the best. We're not in the best shape. It's not the worst. I'm pretty sure I can avoid all of that. I go to the right place. I think I can. See if this takes us where to a better location where we might want to go. to the electric hell room. There we go. I just got it. All right. doing okay. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Managed to flip it through that. That's okay. Not gonna get that one. Always try and align yourself in such a way that you are not having to jump over these. All 
right. I think I got this guy's number. Oh! Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> a little bit more life. A little bit more. Fine. Oh, it's hell. Oh, it's hell. Sometimes the lightning's real thick in there, and sometimes it isn't. How much rhyme or reason to it? Nope, there it goes. It heard me. It heard me talking about it. It's like no dice, friend. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh! You're dead. that time. We've got all the time in the world, but not really. Drop! Got it. Not gonna keep me down. Oh no. I've got to keep on moving. Wheel. Whole lot of time. Let's uh let's slide ourselves right here. Alright. No, get off the wall. Idiot. Oop, gotta time that right. I jump perhaps is my issue. Here we go. The biggest risk with this guy beyond if you just don't figure out how to combat his very useless assaults here. A lot of bosses operate this way also. Just keep smacking him when he runs out. As long as you don't miss a trick, you'll be okay. You gotta watch out for that clock counting down. A lot of people get stuck on this. I never beat this guy as a kid. Somebody else would always come in and beat him. Did not use the strategy. Couldn't remember how they did it. But I came across this years later. Still couldn't finish the entirety of the game. Nope, I thought that was going to do him in. There we go. Oh, I apologize for the flashing. Oh my god. Oh, it's endless. Jesus Christ. No more heroes, my boy. Werewolf, time to go now. It looks like Dr. Fryon was victorious after all. Werewolf has been swallowed into the sea, and the world was swallowed up in a future of evil and darkness. But it appears Werewolf was not meant to meet such an early fate. He arises to fight again. I like how they don't show any of that. It's just like, yeah, all that flashing, that meant you're in the ocean and you're dead. Okay. 
What else you got for me? Yep. Whoop that guy. Thick Forest. This is the worst level. Next super being Monster. Kind of looks like Mr. Sinister, maybe, or Sabretooth. You must pass the waterfall. It's a good rhythm. It, he doesn't look like any of them when you fight him. I can't place him to anything. He's just a weird monster thing. All right. Flashing is a metaphor for death. <laughs> How many lives I got left? Oh, I only got one. It's a good thing I set that save point. So I skipped that message. I didn't intend to. I didn't intend to skip that message. But basically, he comes up and says, remember, water is a werewolf's worst enemy. Which is this subtle way of telling you that uh, if you fall in the water, you're going to die. Sure, there was a power. Well, I gotta go deal with it. So this level is full of that. These fish jumping, and you're dead. It makes that swimming animation, and you might think, "Werewolf, you can swim." No, no, you can't. You can't swim. You're just gonna die. But they added a swimming animation, and there's a whole water section to the map, and. You, and you can struggle. As a child, I struggled for hours. What's the button combination to swim? There is no swimming. You're just dead. Just let me die. Don't don't give me false hope. Anyway. Now you can see his ulcer useful message. I'm gonna I'm so boned here. You will need to find a new means of transportation to continue. I need not remind you that water is the natural enemy of the werewolf. I have never heard that. Have you ever heard that? Water is the natural enemy of the werewolf? That's a new one on me. Oh God, it wouldn't move. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the game is just not responsive to what you want it to do. This is this is where I need the save state. For this, because this is this is the hell stage that requires is this controller dying? Are you kidding me? Yeah, don't let the world touch water. Don't feed it after midnight. That would be atrocious. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't read the super jump. And I, I always thought maybe it was just a controller thing, but I and mean, maybe it is because the controller's now not wanting to respond. I think it's a, a potentially a lag thing. Come on. But this stage is just like notorious, notorious for this. You have to get through, you, you have to practice it enough to understand how, not where the enemies spawn, but how to manipulate where they pop in the screen, how to jump in the right spots to manipulate where they're gonna show up. Because what happens is every one of these jumps, you'll go and these fish will come and you'll try and bait them out, but they'll show up every time you hit the button. I can show you here, it, if I can get to the right spot, I can show you, like, any time I hit a button, enemies will pop up, because that's what they're waiting for. It's designed to kill you here. And this is the difference between this and, and Ninja Gaiden to me. The Ninja Gaiden does some crap like that, but Ninja Gaiden's kind of fair. If you remember where they are, and you figure out a way to get around them, the game's like, all right, I'll let you have it. This game is like, hey, figure out a way around it. No, you didn't. 
No. This is the kid on the playground who's like, nuh-uh, you didn't hit me. Nuh-uh, because I got a force field. That's this game. That is this game in a nutshell. Every time. And there are times where you might stop and think like, just wait. No, <laughs> don't. Don't wait. Because most of the enemies will come back. Oh my God. Either my hands are getting too sweaty or this controller is dying on me. I would believe either of them. This is this is the, the run ender here. <laughs> really doesn't help to... Uh... Yeah, and that thing, that log, can also appear at different locations based on where you end up on the screen. So if you don't get that right, your punishment is... See that fish appeared in a different location? If you don't get that right, your punishment is that uh, those fish show up and hit you. to land at the right spot on that. Not that one. It's it's touchy. That's about the only one that you can safely like bait the fish out and try to get past them. And there's no recovering from that either. Once you're hit, you'll just clip right through the uh, waterfall or the, uh, the log. You only have so much window of time to get through it. All the save states come into play. We never heard of this one. The sprite designs music rule. It does. It, it this was not like I don't know how popular this game was. I I knew a lot of people had this game. I had two copies of the game for for the aforementioned reasons that people would go into the store and be like, this this person, this birthday, the birthday boy likes comic books, and they sold me this. And then this is what they would bring me. Uh, it's rough. The sprite work is really great. I don't know if you, you, I don't think you were here at the start when I went through the whole spiel about how the, the rumor is that this was originally a Wolverine game. They lost the license and had to subvert it. The game includes uh, enemy sprites that are very clearly the Hellfire Club Guards, the Brood, Juggernaut, um, Magneto, uh, Pyro, potentially. I think that fire guy looked like he was supposed to be Pyro. Uh, possibly Genosian magistrates from the executioner agenda, extinction agenda. Um, to me, I always thought like this really seemed like a Wolverine game. I couldn't substantiate that. I couldn't find any confirmation of it, but like the sprite work on it is really good. The music on it is really good. Just the controls are kind of jank and the, uh, the enemy positioning, particularly in this level and the, the last level are like extremely painful, like punishingly. So it's very reminiscent of Ninja Gaiden. gotta get past that one one bit i would say i gotta get past that one bit but like i gotta get past more than that 
Yeah, it's it's not a bad game. It's just it's rough. And it has limited continues, and that's what makes it, like, all the more painful, is that you're gonna die figuring it out. Even when I kill that fish, it still hits me. Freaking piranhas. I don't, I've never heard anyone talk about this. <laughs> but like this, this stage more than any other, like there's so much going on here and I really feel like it interferes with controls because this is the stage where I need this jump the most, the high jump. And this is where it works the least consistently. Maybe that's just like in my head. There's a certain way you need to get there that kind of prevents them from spawning. Holding up! Damn it! That's so infuriating. Finally made it, and he wouldn't do the super jump. Which isn't very super, but it's more than the regular jump. See, every time I hit jump, Damn it! That is extremely painful. Other parts too are like as almost as bad. This part I feel like is just the worst. This is the, the most troubling part of the game. This part is also troublesome. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh well. <laughs> totally overrode it. Well, this is the, you know, this is what you, what you paid for. These are the free seats. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. coming from yeah it does it can create this certain painful unpredictability sometimes with enemies that like normally aren't there every time I'm getting hit with that fish I know that fish is there that piranha is there and I get hit with it every time One of those has something in it. I'm just, I'm just 
exploratory mission here. so terrible. How do I try to remember like the magic to uh, get them to not be there. And I just cannot. accidentally lose this one here because this is pretty egregious as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Amanda, the first try just got shot off. I feel bad, like... <laughs> Using the save stage so much, but I'm out of juice here. I'm out of lives. Oh, I can't get over fast enough. <laughs> An absolute nightmare. I just refuse to try and run through this as as a uh, war wolf. Yeah, and that so that like you would think killing him would be good and that would help you and that's what you want. There's just more of them to show up. So all you can do is, like, hope they don't hit you with the grenades and they just leave. Just leave. See, that'll get you, too, because that log... <laughs> modern problems for carb. I Modern solutions. 100% agree. Like, I... I'm not a speedrunner, and I, I watch a lot of, like, speedrun videos, and I'm like, man, that is that is really cool. I'm sure that took tons of practice. These are all games that I dug out of the box that I have dusted off and not played in years, and I, I'm not going to sit here and try to practice all these levels and start the whole game over. I just won't do it. If I ever revisit them, I might do that. But for now, I just want to get through it, and if I got to use safe states to do it, by God, I'm going to do it. But this level is particularly painful. <laughs> There's me trying to goad those things in. Doing all right. So that platform like won't show up until you uh, have jumped or made a certain move. It's waiting for you. Same with these guys. Such that like if you're not careful, as soon as you go to jump, they'll be there. Luckily, like, you can just wait them out. Alright, that's pretty safe. You want to hit these boulders before they fall. Make sure I put it back on the Now that you got you have to that jump right there. If you ever want to play this game, that's that's one of the few tips I have for you. 
You want to jump towards it, but be ready to go back. You want to bait those boulders out, and you need to position yourself in such a way that the boulders both bounce and fall off because it's unlikely you'll be able to hit them. And if you don't hit them and break them and they don't bounce off, they stand, they land on the ground, they'll flash for a while and then explode. And it's got a pretty big area that it will hit you. And you won't be able to get past that. You'll try to jump over there and hit it. You'll just get knocked off. So try to do that. Try to do that. Try to bait those out. That's like the one bit of like enemy manipulation I can remember from this. That's why I died the last time. ladders there. There does appear to be a ladder. Okay. Lots of power-ups here. Worth getting. You can also just drag them down screen like that if you can time this right. I had enough anger. There we go. And then there's a heart there. Time is an issue. Time's going to be a big issue here. That'll buy us some time. It only gives us 50 seconds. Okay. Nothing there. I'm wasting time trying to look for more time. got a loose pattern. He doesn't really stick with it. I'm gonna buy for time here. Damn it! Where it, where it puts me in here. Oh, this will be fun. Pretty sure there's no, uh... Well, isn't there... I think that was a bullet. If only I could get it. Oh, the cruelest of fates. It's just too high. May have to go back to reload that save just because I don't. There's no way. I believe I can, can I get up there. I can. All right. All right. Now we're looking okay. It's not the best.
jump, you fool. Sometimes he shoots and sometimes he don't. Oh, Jesus God almighty. There's still a chance. It's not a great chance, but I could still pull it off. I think it's more likely that I'll run out of time first. myself charged up he won't he won't land for that long oh landed right on me I think I'd run out of time first it's doable it's doable but now I have to look because I don't have any more saves see that's what I'm talking about One lesson you can always take from this game is that it's never over. Come on, big head. How many times do I got to take you down? Get out. Get out here. Not that I even need it. Not, not, not that it does me a lick of good <laughs> at this stage. Get up there. Get up there. I had a little bit more rage. There is also, I think, a clock in his stage. Which is good. Jump! No! As long as I can stay above his health. Which is, you know, when he does that... The, the tail jump, it really punishes me. And if I can't land this, that is also punishment. I in the time. Damn it! Get up there! It's not over yet! Come on down! But don't mash me! Come on down! He won't stand still to get zappelated. But he will get punched. If I can avoid getting mushed by him, which is tough. Not gonna, not gonna last long. Come on, come on down, come on down. Look at the hitbox. Look at the friggin' hitbox on that guy. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh. 
utterly ridiculous. I don't think I could, but I'm, I'm wondering. If it would be possible to hold off on... Well, it would be in the same spot as the W. But maybe that'd be close enough. Wondering if I could get that invincibility even for like a second against this boss. Alright, that's favorable. Jump! You fool! so good the hitboxes in this game are atrocious that's another complaint I will level you against it both for and against I mean you can see how far away I'm standing to slap this man slug prawn beast Yes, come down. Come down to get a whooping. All right. He's done so now. Need one more, and you're done! I don't know what that thing was, but he's dead now. <laughs> they didn't even bother making, like, drawing a portrait of him for that. So we're at the final stage, stage five, Dr. Faryan Polis. Next super being Dr. Faryan. Dr. Faryan Polis, I think is what it's supposed to be. Got to finish his whole spiel here. Oh, wait. <laughs> well done, lad. Well done. You have come very far indeed. You may, in fact, be the one to save this war. No! It's the inevitable heel turn. Woo! I, I should have known. This is Dr. Farion's doing. I cannot go any further. Forgive me, werewolf. Is that going to say I should have knowed? I should have knowed? You should have known that your your grammar problems are gonna come back to haunt you. Oh, this guy this guy's a real pain too. Because if you're not careful, he'll jump right on top of you. Alright. We're going to save the state there because I gotta go back here to make sure I don't exit on it. This is a real pain as well. This is another one of those, like, just gotta remember where everything is. Kind of levels. All right. That could be extremely dangerous. Because those guys can drop W's, blue W's. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just like that. When those guys die and fall on you, they can drop a blue W right on top of you, and then you'll just you'll just eat it. There is a value in going down. 
depending on what else you have collected. Oh! <laughs> no, I wasn't even hitting the other button. Come on, now. You're cheating me. Oh, come on. You can just do that. Whether or not it works out for you remains to be seen. Get that! Get it! Damn it! There we go. Alright. Nope! <laughs> that was not it. Let's remember that location. Because there, there is a statue near there. Come on! Load the state. This, this is, like, the area I feel the worst about, like, be here for a while. Compared to this, like, the actual final fight... Let's see. Nope. Just straight down. Straight down ought to do it. It's like marginally better. I mean, anything I can do to cheese the end of this, including pumping up my rage is gonna help. Stop me now. Slick bastards. Damn it. Oh, I'm all, I'm done for now. I don't think I could even make that jump. I'll make this jump. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he shot me in the skull, put me out of my misery. One more of these, if I can. One more anger. Hey, time. <laughs> Damn you. waiting to see if that fish would show up. Remain undaunted. So perhaps I should be... Oh, son of a... You see? You see what this game does to you? 
Also, I don't know if you noticed at the end there, when you're out of continues, it gives you the screen continue end, but it forcibly moves it to end with no option to change it. So once again, it gives you that false hope, like maybe, nah, just fucking with you, kid. Wretched. Absolutely wretched. Wasting my life here. I mean, with the getting shot, not like the, in my actual real life. That was over a long time ago. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing left to waste at this point. Get off the wall, you, you dang on dingus. <laughs> oh! Damn jump. The undocumented jump too. I can't I still can't get over that, how like it's not even mentioned in the manual. Hold up to jump higher. There's just someone here playing through this game who just didn't try it or never heard you should do that. Just like, why can't I not jump? Why can I not jump? Like, you might accidentally jump. <laughs> because some games you hold, you push up to jump. You might accidentally jump that way and then be perplexed why he doesn't jump as high. You're like holding down the button as hard as you possibly can to get him to jump. And he won't jump any higher and you're just confused. You can actually climb on a lot of the ceiling here. If I can... only somewhat helps and it's very slow so I don't recommend it I just thought I'd point it out I don't know why Baby statue, just the right spot. There we go. Jump, you son of a bitch. Go away. Thank you. Thank God for safe six. But honestly, like, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Nothing. You're supposed to just not be there. How are you supposed to avoid enemies? Just don't be there. That's the answer. You just gotta remember everywhere they could potentially be and don't be anywhere, which is pretty much everywhere, unfortunately. That's one of those, like, look, we're gonna hit you. Go. I don't think I can just continue down here. I sorta of can. Let's see. Let's see if I get fished on. Fished on. I'm getting a little fished on. I'm getting some time out of this. Oh! Go away, go away, go away! Go away! Oh! 
<laughs> Damn it. That was the end of the stage right there. I gotta, I gotta figure out my strategy for that guy. That guy who shows up, like, right at the end. You either gotta get in there quick enough to avoid him. Which is, I don't think I can do it. Or just jump, like, just the right height to not have him show up. Sometimes you'd think, like, sometimes the baiting strategy works. Often it doesn't. Sometimes it does. Oh, yeah. Gotta outweigh the fish. Leave. Just leave. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know which one's better or worse. I, so far, I'm having better luck down below, but then it's just a repeat of the thick forest. And that is a hell I do not enjoy. So far, <laughs> I found this funny. So far, the... Uh, the videos I have besides the phasmophobia stuff that has gotten like the most views in short order is the NES games I've played. I'm going to have one comment on it, but <laughs> I watch a fair amount of people who stream older games and not many of them are Fish juggling for hell. Uh, not many of them are like hardcore, uh, like speedrun types. Sometimes it can be fun to watch that, I find. Uh, other times it just makes me feel terrible about myself. <laughs> I'm like, I've been trying to beat this game for how many years? And this guy's like, watch me beat this in five minutes. I watched someone beat uh, Team NT on the NES in 19 minutes. Under 19 minutes today. The worst part about this is that when it gets to that screen, I can't go to the save state right away. Um, that took me several hours <laughs> to get through it. And I'm just watching him like rip through it. But again, like tons of practice. No strats. Also used a lot of level skips, which, you know, I'm not saying don't do that, but that's also, it's not just because he was better at dealing with the enemies. It's also because he, he knew the, uh, the speedrun strats. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to land that. But I do, it, it makes me wonder, like, this guy can leave. Just don't get fish. I'm gonna get real nasty, like, here. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I put that safe set right there, baby. Just gonna make it through here without getting fished. Couldn't do it. <laughs> I had a really good run there. All got ruined by some random dude coming out to kill me. As soon as, as soon as you jump, as soon as you jump, they're just waiting there. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to inch out there, trying to push them over a little bit. <laughs> Just did exactly the same thing. I'm learning. I'm learning. Gaining valuable knowledge. I can force them out. Further and further. Potentially, they won't show up. Potentially. The bounce, it's the bounce, the ridiculous bounce. It's like, no, we can't have you going there. It's like, it's like a uh, jump king action right there. That's how I felt about that. It's like, no, we gotta, we gotta punish you. Oh my god! <laughs> we made it! Sweet Jesus! Couldn't find enough rage in there. Could not find enough rage. May have been more on the top. We got a little bit of, of dudes crawling. We got like two or three boss fights here. And I believe we're at the end. So... <laughs> Salvation is in sight. Spoke too soon. One hit kill lightning. Back flips. Got this guy again. You gave us that rage. I got one more rage. <clears throat> All right, here we are, Dr. Faryon. Clock's ticking, bud. Clock's ticking. I can do this all day, pal.
just repositioning myself a little to ensure that it doesn't skip the hit. So I have to remember that their hitboxes are much bigger than they seem. And he'll just keep doing this. Or he'll do that flip and really mess me up, apparently. Come on. One more. All right, we're done, or are we? <laughs> We're not. I'll let you know now, we're not. <laughs> I've not been to this bit, but I have seen it. And now I'm gonna see it firsthand. Look at him flipping his claws in and out there, just like Wolverine. You can't tell me this wasn't a Wolverine game. I don't care if I can prove it or not. I don't care if the, if the proof is out there or not. Is there any hidden goods amongst here? This would, That would probably like ruin me. Come on. You know what I hate about this is like the clock was ticking the whole time. Oh, Jesus, God. All right, we'll get him. Even with my pathetic health here. This is, this is the, the real challenge mode here. Not really. <laughs> the real challenge is getting all the way here with the lives provided by the game, which requires getting through a lot of stages without messing up. I messed up a lot. Come on down! This is very clearly is Magneto also. Oh, Jesus. There was some, there's some Elden Ring wind up there. <laughs> like, I'm coming someday. This is interesting music. I I wonder if there's supposed to be a cutscene here and they just like dropped it or didn't finish it in time. Because the clock's ticking down and you've just beat a boss that was a guy you came for, and then all of a sudden this guy shows up with no explanation. I who presumably is Dr. Farian. Or Magneto is up against it. Also, I gotta say, Magneto is the final boss for Wolverine game is like Damn it. That's like the worst matchup. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> who would who would do that? You know you know who's a great enemy for Mag for uh, Wolverine? Magneto. What? The fight would just be over. It wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> he, would, he would just pick him up and throw him in the, the end. But I guess technically I'm not Wolverine and technically this isn't Magneto, so I, it's probably okay, I suppose. Come on, man. Getting impatient over here. It's got really nice animation. Nice backgrounds. I dig the art, it's just the controls are a little spotty. And I'm so weak that I'm just going to die.
you know, if he hadn't beat me so bad, if I get, if I got through, I may have to go back <laughs> to my previous save state just to try and make it here with a little bit more health. Because as it is, like, one hit and I'm human. Unless there's some hidden health somewhere in here, which I don't think there is. There's any dodging that. I think you just need to do the werewolf backflip and maybe I can get through that. Do one more, then I'm gonna go back. Because unless there's like a hidden heart somewhere in here. Anything, any hidden treats for me here? Let's come at him from this side. Oh, so slow, can barely move. To me. Damn it. by the lightning. Damn it. Shouldn't be taking hits off of this guy either. I mean, it's a nice thought that they put those guys there so that you could get some health or upgrades or something. But as far as I've never seen them drop anything but bullets, so. All right, let's see if I can pull this off in a better way here. You just got to keep them from getting behind me. Oh, damn it. No. Because it doesn't matter how much space I give him. Alright, alright, alright. I can just keep this up. flipping out on me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see if I can turbo my way out of this. Nope. Nope. I just killed it. Turbo and this button is wanged up. That's not going to hold it up. Oh, I was doing better without this. <laughs> I didn't come out of this any better than I was before. In fact, I was much better off before. <laughs> oh my god! On the final stage, too, like, it's just crazy. Like, hey, what if we just put some flooded it with instant hit instant kill lightning This time for sure. Come on. What? The bullet didn't work on him. Oh my God. I got screwed by that. Gotta get it like just right, because if he's too far away, you won't have a chance to reconnect. But if he gets just a little bit too close, you're getting hit. And all he needs is like one hit to start flipping over you and ripping you to pieces. That's why I tried to cheese it with the turbo, but then every time I tried to flip on the turbo, the button would stop working. And then when the turbo did work, Really wasn't doing me any favors. Two more. There we go. Why don't you reward me with some health, man? <laughs> or a rage or something. That'd be cool. more health so I can afford to screw up a little bit more. Oh, Jesus. Button's not working, that's why. The old broken controller. For real, though.
No! Damn it! My controller is legit breaking now. Does this just not work? This just doesn't work. At all. He's throwing it as far as he possibly can. <laughs> I made a big mistake by trying to use the turbo button. <laughs> now my butt's gonna move on. Nope. All right. Damn it. Come on, come on. I need every scrap of health I can for Magneto. Get out of here, you my friend. No! here. There's one more. There we go. As long as this button holds up. <laughs> I don't, I'm not saying I would have won, but there were several times where the, the A button just stopped working. this turbo controller and apparently I didn't fix it as well as I thought I had. Maybe I'm going to have to go back and buy another controller. But not for this game. We'll do it. We'll finish it. Come on. As long as he keeps doing that move. Oh, damn it. I did get a hit in. What the hell's going on? I'm not hitting him. I don't know if it's my controller or not. I was slapping him quite a bit there. Although it was rolling back and forth. Oh, this does not bode well. <laughs> this doesn't bode well at all. All right, give me a second here. Why are these people? <laughs> it's pe people contacting me like, you know what I'm doing. You know I'm not going to answer your call. You know you had hours and hours today to contact me, and you waited until my busy time, when you know I'm doing something, to call me with your petty complaints. Nonsense, people. All right. This time... This time, it will be different. Nope. It is not different. What? The F. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no.
No, this button just died. <laughs> Or did it? If we're growing up to slug that. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I never used turbo on this button. And the way it works is that there's a slider that has a very flimsy contact under it that selects between the different turbo modes. And if it's not seated well or is too corroded, which I suspect may be the issue, uh, if you so much as touch the slider, it'll just stop sending any signal at all through that button so in my effort to cheese this guy by turning on turbo I've borked this button a little bit which is not the only reason I'm losing here <laughs> but it's part of it and sometimes I hit attack and I just don't get an attack Try Dr. Farian. Do one more time. See if I can get him with this health. And if not, I'll have to take a quick break to see what these people are blowing my phone up about. And they refuse to put, send a text message. <laughs> I guarantee it's not an emergency, but they're old, so anything is potentially an emergency. Though I'm not like, the only emergency, or even the primary emergency contact, so. Oi, oi, oi. with them. There we go. That connected. That connected. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to swap this controller out just because apparently it's not as Repaired as I thought it was, which was disappointing. To tear it apart again. But I don't need turbo for this, and I have another perfectly good, fine working controller here. However, I don't think the NES likes it when you swap the controllers out, but I gotta check in these calls anyway. So, let's take a quick break. I'll be right back. If I can, why, do I, why can't I never find this button? It's the same place it's always been. All right, I'll be right back.
Werewolves from Far Gone. All right. Thank you for waiting. It was nothing important <laughs> at all. It was nothing that couldn't have waited. But they called me four times in a row. I'm like, hey, I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, okay, I'll let you go. So anyway, like, no, this is the end of the conversation. Like, sheesh. I have a pretty consistent schedule with this. I'm available most days, all day, until I start streaming. And I know there's people around, and I will contact them throughout the day. But like, do you need anything? Because I'm going to be busy tonight. Do you need anything? No, I'm fine. And then 9 o'clock rolls around, and they're just like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call four times in a row. I'm going to ask where my potato chips are. It's not important. Anyway, swap controllers. The NES, I, I was able to just swap the controller without uh, without powering it down. I don't know what console I'm thinking of. Some consoles don't like that. I don't think the Dream the Dreamcast, I think, didn't like that because you could blow a fuse. And then you'd have to open it up. I have replaced it with a self-resetting fuse. But I also never unplugged the, the controller once on. I know just because I have it from that. But the Nintendo seemed like it didn't really care. Maybe it should. <laughs> Maybe maybe it does, and I just got lucky, and I risked killing my Nintendo here. Anyway. Back to trying to kill Dr. Farion. Well, the bullet hit him that time. I don't know why it wouldn't hit him the other times. Dang it. Get some free hits on me here. Damn you. I'm just thrown, I'm thrown off by like how far it seems I can hit him, which of course he has the same reach as I do in this. Just hold it together a little bit more. It's a little bit quicker if you have the super werewolf power, but I was able to pull that off. I got a little bit more health. Practice my jumping. I'm gonna change controllers. Warm up the silicone. I always got my eyes on new controllers. It's hard to find good silicone replacement for the original Nintendo controllers, and it's hard to find replacement controllers that have solid D-pads. So a $25 wireless controller that I might want to check. I'm leery of wireless controllers for older consoles because it can add a bit of latency, and I've already got enough stain stuff in the chain here to add some latency. I don't think it really affects me that much because I'm not like a, a high skill player. But I'd rather not add more. Hold on, I'm really getting it. That got him. I heard the sound. If I could just keep him doing this. It's a hell of a lot better than that. He's gonna count down the clock with this man? Damn it! I had my fingers on the button. There's no dodge in that. As far as I know. Oh. See that shot? It didn't work that time. Don't know why. Come on, take it on the chin. Huah! 
guess technically these these are left hooks since it is my left hand and my hands are sharpened to metal hooks so technically all of these attacks are left hooks the glass drawed werewolf here five more four three Get all close there two one. Oh, baby, that's the most health I've had. I can afford to make, like, two mistakes now. My biggest problem with Magneto here, and I'm just going to call him Magneto, because this is exactly what it looks like, and he's throwing a metal girder at me, which is a very Magneto thing to do. Now, why Magneto wouldn't just pick up Wolverine? Perhaps at that point in the comic continuity. I don't know this. I don't think this was ever true. But maybe they were saying... No, adamantium is not magnetic. Because it certainly is in most media that I that I have consumed between Wolverine and Magnetum. He did rip out his the metal from his skeleton at one point. But anyway. My biggest beef is when he changes it up and tries to throw that girder from the side. And he just kind of waits. It's just like, it's counting down the clock here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not going to be good for me. Damn it. I thought I was far enough away from that. I can still pull this off. Come on! This is the final stage. This is the final phase. I just gotta time this right. Damn it. Beat him in human form too. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Oh god, that was that was sweaty. Oh my hands. Ooh. Ooh. The battle has raged long and hard, but Fion and his minions are no more. The world has been restored to peace and the justice of a free world put back in place. All is well for now, but should the forces of darkness find a new champion, there will still be one who will stand in his way, werewolf. The unconquerable. You gotta see this end screen here. It's amazing. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> oh my god. Well, <laughs> that's werewolf. <laughs> the the uh <laughs> We're up the last warrior. Who's behind this? I don't know. So, uh, Data East, like I said, was big in the arcades, and they had a lot of not so great ports to uh, from the arcade hits to the NES. But they also worked with a lot of outside companies. Uh, this was, I think they're credited in here. Sakata SAS, I think, was a group that worked with them on this. Um, they also worked with them on bringing other stuff. Monkey. 
and Mecky Monkey. It's back in the time when a lot of programmers would have nicknames, but often that was so that their actual names, Sidden, so the actual names wouldn't make it into the game because there was a fear of poaching. At least that's what I've heard. See, at least there he kind of looks different, but it's still very Magneto esque. Good sound work in this. Good music, good graphics, rough gameplay, painful. Next time. Next time on Werewolf, The Last Warrior. Werewolf, your rent's two weeks past due. I want to bring up the, if I can, some reason I have a, no, I know the reason. I just don't know why I kept the picture of Shigeru Chiba uh, on here. <laughs> don't ask me. The Japanese game also has a different end screen, uh, which I want to bring up here, which I, I like better. Maybe you will too. This is the Japanese end screen. The end. Oops, not too big. The end. Which, you know, this is just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Yeah, what a what a weird game. Yeah, I I know it probably doesn't always come across if you haven't played this. And obviously I'm not like the most high skilled. Like I can pull stuff off if I have more practice at stuff and, and keep at it, then uh, you know, I can I can improve. I can get through it. Uh <laughs> I just, I feel really like nobody, nobody's giving me, I'm the only one judging me for this, but I feel really uh, iffy with the, the save states, but like, I don't know. Eventually a time will come where I want to play a game and like, and just grind through it. But I get anxious when I'm streaming and I play a little bit worse than I do off, off stream, just a little bit. And then like, I start getting worked up over it because like I'm live here. And so I don't know how well that'd fly if like I have a stream that's like, I'm gonna try and grind through this game and there's probably gonna be like, a, you know, half a dozen streams of me just like practicing routes and werewolf or whatever. I don't know much interested in that. But uh, someday I might come to that after I've chewed through enough games to be like, I really wanna dig into this game, you know? This isn't it, werewolf isn't it. Although I would come back to it. I would play this again, for sure. I, I derailed my own train of thought. It doesn't really come through, I don't think, but the controls are real iffy. Um, you really gotta get that up and the jump timed well. Uh, it just a little bit off and it throws it off. Um, and you can find yourself a lot, like, thinking you're making the big jump and only making a little jump and not being able to reach the platform dying painfully uh sometimes like the the hit boxes are very weird it's like you have to hit the boss when it doesn't seem like you're connecting like before it seems like you connect because sometimes if you wait it's like <laughs> the hit box has like a dead area it feels like there's like an outer force field you can hit that's clearly not the sprite and then there's a little bit past that that you're not going to hit them and they're going to hit you and then there's like the meaty center that you'll definitely hit them but if a, if a boss or an enemy gets right on you they're just going to keep hitting you and it, you're going to have a difficult time getting out of them in order to hit them and you won't be able to hit them while you're in them it can be very frustrating and the same kind of thing happens in ninja gaiden that's why i say this is most comparable to ninja gaiden in my mind Ninja Gaiden is very much the same way. If you if you let an enemy get too close, they'll just bounce you back and forth, and you can just easily like get destroyed by that. Uh, so it 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 gets frustrating with that stuff when you have to make some more precision jumping and try to get around that, and suddenly your jumps aren't high enough. I don't trust the normal jump for jumping over a lot of enemies because they're the uh, bounding box, whatever you want to call. It. I call it the hitbox is bigger than the sprite in a lot of cases and until you really get that pounded in your head you'll think you are missing the enemy <clears throat> or jumping over the enemy 
only to find that your toes are clipping through their invisible, uh, their invisible hitbox. That's another word. But, uh, and you'll get boned by that a lot. So, <laughs> it's a rough, it's a rough game. It's a rough game, but ultimately fun. Good music. The graphics are nice. Not that, not that one. This is. That previous one is not, not that great. But also, look at that. You can clearly tell those, those are Wolverine. He's got the Wolverine haircut. This stage, too, climbing the building. I love it so much. Because it's just like, it's a stage where the challenge is like, move through the stage in such a way to manipulate the lightning so that it can't spawn because you're moving through areas. Just like if you move all the way to one side of the screen, it'll prevent stuff from spawning, including the lightning in those trap rooms. Um, you gotta try and move through so that the lightning never shows up and or find the invincibility orbs and get through enough of the stage while it has them. And then he just gets to the end and he just falls off the building. He just falls all the way down. And that's, th that's the level. He just falls all the way down off of the skyscraper. You climbed all the way up there for him to get mad. That's the only, you pick up some items. Hopefully you get enough rage to get the super werewolf and it lasts long enough to get uh, to get down, you really gotta, to be really good at this game, you really gotta remember where all that stuff is, where all the items are sprinkled and hidden throughout the stage, so that, for example, you're not getting the super werewolf too soon. So if you have four uh, anger orbs and you find a fifth one, but it's the middle of the stage, if you remember that there's one later at the stage closer to the boss room, you can wait and get that. And then y'all have more use of your super werewolf, which does more damage uh, to the bosses. I couldn't remember where those things were to save my life. I just grabbed them whenever I found them. <laughs> which is also, you also got to watch out for those blue W's. They'll get you. Um, but yeah, you, you go through that whole stage just for him to fall off the building. Uh, is just hilarious to me. And then he's totally fine. He just falls in the sewer and fights the juggernaut, and then, like, that's... There you go. There you go. It's a cool scene of him climbing the building just to just to plummet down to his doom. Uh, and he's fine with it. And then, you know, you fight that guy. Well, that's after the, uh... Is it before? I think that... Yeah, that's before the, the fire guy. Who I want to call Pyro. But that's... He may not have intended to be Pyro... But he definitely is like, he's a fire guy. Could have been Fire Lord. It's a Fire Lord in a lot of games, son. It's a Silver Surfer game. Um, the fire guy. And then it's like, scene missing. The island explodes. An island? Where am I? What happened here? And you just get buried. But then you're fine. And you come back. And you're supposed to feel like, all right, I made it. But it's like, it's just some text. Not even like... <laughs> good descriptive text you just told me like you're done for like how so you're at the bottom of the ocean how why what happened oh no you're fine oh okay i guess th thankfully that's over with. <laughs> a little a little bit goofy i really want to find i've never seen it but i'm told that the comic that shipped with the japanese version is it would it would have to be different because the story is different and I've never seen it. I would, I would love to see it. I, somebody mentioned it, and then they just put some random, random panel from some other manga up there, unrelated. So, but either they saw it and know what it is and don't have a scan of it, or they're just lying. That's one thing I found trying to research, dig up information on a lot of older games, and this is just like going through like Google searches and looking through. Um, I'm not hitting more academic sources, and perhaps I should. But I'm finding a lot of people just, like, copying the information off of Wikipedia, even if it's incorrect, and just not realizing it. The amount of people who have talked about this game and then deliver the story from the Wikipedia page, I'll pull it up and I can read it to you. I already told you what, what the, the story was. You may or may not remember it. Yeah, so the, the story is, you know, the evil Dr. Farian. Dr. Farian, who was probably not a great guy to begin with. He's a chemical weapons engineer for the Pentagon. And he gets possessed by an evil spirit and then develops chemical weapons and brainwashes the upper echelons of the U.S. government. 
in order to uh, put his chemical weapons in a space shuttle that will then uh, dump it and spread it through the upper atmosphere, which then uh, turns the world into a polluted biomutant wasteland. And uh, that happens while Warwolf, Chief Warwolf, is in the cave learning the powers of the werewolf for some span of time. When he comes out, the world is a changed and ruined place. Um, that heel turn with your spiritual advisor, where it, he's like, basically implies that he's too close to Farian and now he's turning Farian's evil essence is controlling him, is great. I expected that the whole game. Like, he just looks sinister. But when he actually attacks you, you didn't see it. But I, I know enough, like, I've been through that enough that he will, if you don't position yourself right, he will at one point jump really high and he'll just latch onto your back and just damage you. And it's a huge pain in the butt. So you got to, like, do a little dance with him to keep him from doing it. And there's some RNG there, too, where, like, sometimes he'll hit you, sometimes he won't. It's a pain. So anyway, yeah, that's that's that story. The Japanese version is different. The Japanese version is a, a Earth colony planet, Red Earth. And you're Ken, the last of the changelings, the last of the beast men, fighting the evil uh, Dr. Dr. Gordon, the evil Dr. Gordon, right? But this is what Wikipedia says. Wikipedia's entry for Werewolf the Last Warrior. The game takes place on Red Earth, Earth's second colony planet. Dr. Farian adventured into a cave and awoke an ancient evil that made him turn into an evil entity. Afterwards, Dr. Farian created an army of evil mutants who imprisoned nearly everyone on Earth. So are we on Earth, or are we on Red Earth? The only one for humanity is a man named Ken, the last of a tribe of changelings who has the ability to transform into a werewolf named Warwolf. Aside from Dr. Farion and the reference perhaps to Earth, that is entirely the Japanese uh, entry. And so I'm looking at the sources here, and the number one source that they have. So I'm, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to go through this. I know you're not interested. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. And just, this just fascinates me. I've never put forth an edit to Wikipedia, and I feel like I want to do it now <laughs> because because this is like, okay, when I break this down, let me let me see if I can bring this in. Let's go back to the chatting screen. I'll make this. Maybe we don't have to hear the. Uh... <laughs> The werewolf theme. It is cool, but like, it'll get old. All right. I think this will be visible enough. We don't need to see that. Okay, this is from Wikipedia. All right. So you can see the game takes place in Red Earth, and that is source number one. Source number, that is source one. Dr. Farron Adventure, that's also one. Reference one. Afterwards, Dr. Farron created an army of evil mutants who imprisoned everyone in the North. That's two. And then the last sentence, only hope you man is man named Ken. That's three. So everything that's one except for the Dr. Farion bit, is the Japanese version. So what that references is Game Commander, uh, which appears to be a Japanese website. Uh, it is a Japanese website, uh, which clearly references Dr. Gordon, by the way. Let me translate this in English. This is the planet Red Earth, which is Earth's second colony. Dr. Gordon, an adventurer and chemist, discovered a mysterious cave of mysterious light one night in the mountains of Mount Debar. Dr. Gordon went into the cave as if drawn by the light, but he never returned from the cave, and then four years passed. Naval forces awake from the darkness trying to capture Red Earth. Four years ago, Dr. Gordon broke the dark seal in a cave, became a dark leader himself. He led the bio-monster army created by his hands and called himself the evil army Neo. 
The rule of Red Earth has begun. The power of bio monsters is so great that even all the scientific weapons that humans possess are no match for it. Question mark. The only hope for the cornered humanity is the boy Ken, the survivor of the legendary super werewolf clan. Ken, who is the ability to transform from a human into a super werewolf, warwolf, not just a regular werewolf, but a super werewolf. Is the only human who can stand against bio monsters. The boy Ken's heart was moved by the voice calling for humanity's salvation. Now the fierce battle between the strongest hero, Warwolf, and the bio monster army, Neo, has begun. The American comic style deco game. I don't think that's not a good translation. Cho Jinro Sunki Warwolf is a side scrolling action game in which the boy Ken transforms super. So I'm going through all of this. Uh, Oh, this, I didn't know this. This work has an impressive package decorated with an ultra-realistic Warwolf model by Kyoto's Susumu Sugita. Oh, I think that guy, I think, I think, I assume it's a guy. I'm pretty sure it's a guy. Um, Look, at, look him up, I guess, if you can. I'm not going to put it in here. Kyoto makes some cool stuff. I think they make the Revoltech which has some cool stuff. I'll go ahead and hide this for right now. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was like clearly, he did a lot of like garage kit stuff and cool model kits. Hey clone, you are Oh, very good. I'm glad, I'm glad you are. So looking at this page, which is, which is the first reference that is, that is cited for this sentence, this sentence, this sentence, it clearly references Dr. Gordon and not Dr. Farian. And then the second reference is the Review Busters from 2011. Well, let's see what they have to say. It's an archive.org. A new and evil presence has captured the planet, led by their mad creator, Dr. Fry, and a band of bio monsters have imprisoned nearly the entire population. Every weapon tried against them has proved useless. And that's just from the first scene. That's from the game itself. Uh, and they don't explain the story any more than that. They don't go any more into it. So these are among the worst sources you can use. The Japanese source is fine for the Japanese game. It has a completely different story. But what they've done here is mashed up both of these stories. I'm going to have to, I've never, I've never done an edit on Wikipedia. I'm going to have to look up how I do an edit on Wikipedia and how I will find sources if I can find somewhere where the manual is scanned, could I use that as a source? And the comic. And then summarize the data within that. Warwolf. Yeah, I mean, that is that is his name in this game. So that, it's funny. You are Chief Warwolf, and you transform into the werewolf. And in the Japanese version, you're Ken... And you transform into the werewolf known as Warwolf. So Warwolf is in, in there either way. Are werewolves a thing in Japan? They have to be. There's a werewolf in Vampire Hunter D. I mean, the vampires are in there. But they're definitely like European. The werewolf is a European thing, right? Well, no, well, see, uh, we got a train wreck in my own brain here. I think a distinction would need to be made between, or maybe, maybe it all comes from the same place. Cause I'm thinking of like skinwalkers. Is that an actual thing? Or is, am I being like offensive to, to a group of people here? I'm pretty sure that is like a, an actual, like, uh, native American thing like the skinwalker which would be roughly equivalent to like the changelings or like a werewolf but i think there's also like a european werewolf that is different it starred a werewolf character named warwolf that's not entirely true and then also cites the first source so they're citing i mean this is it's not that uncommon for and at at this stage i think werewolf lore is kind of imported and it don't have to be in Japan. They may have some form of it, right? Because they've got they've got vampires there that are based in their own mythology. Most, a lot of places, I'm not going to say most, that's probably talking too big. A lot of places in the world have things that are roughly analog analogous to what we would, Americans, 
have interpreted as vampires, which is largely based off of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Never came from that. Bram Stoker's Dracula is largely placed off of uh, vampire accusations levied against people who had passed away due to tuberculosis. It's a whole fascinating story behind that. Um, that centers around a lot of that stuff. Like we dig up the body and the fingers have grown or the hair had grown. I don't know if you've ever heard this stuff. Uh, we dug up the bodies and the fingernails have grown. And the reality is that the meat of your body shrinks. The fingernails don't grow. The hair doesn't grow. But as the meat in your corpse shrinks, it pushes the fingernails out, exposes more of them. And so it gives the appearance of having grown. They don't actually grow. They've had some similar incarnation, maybe without the full moon and silver bullet bit. Yeah, and even the silver bullet bit, I think, may be... Uh, something added into later either fiction or um you know i gotta the game is still like flashing in my face it's very distracting um it could be something added in later and of course that all gets muddied when with movies like uh silver bullet is a european thing and i have to look this up so this is a whole thing in folklore a werewolf from Old English, werewolf, mad wolf, or occasionally lycanthrope. From ancient Greek, wolf human, or widespread concept in European folklore. Exists many variants which are claimed by a common development of Christian interpretation to underlying European folklore developed during the medieval period. From the early modern period, werewolf beliefs also spread in the New World. Colonialism belief in werewolves developed in parallel beliefs in witches in the course of the late Middle Ages. Similar entities, Skinwalker. So Skinwalker is Navajo culture. There's a similar type of thing. Maybe more modern. I'm curious about that. I'm sure I read all about this stuff uh, in some time. Uh, Asian cultures, common Turkic cult folklore holds a different reverential light to the world of legends in that Turkic Central Asia. Shamans performing long and arduous rites would voluntarily be able to transform the humanoid Kortadam, literally meaning wolfman, since the wolf is a totemic ancestor animal of the Turkic people, they will be respectful of any shaman who is such an item. Uh, this is a lot of stuff, like, in Japan that is not really native that they've pulled in. Either from uh, other countries' mythology or, uh, like, fantasy novels or Dungeons & Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons had a lot of that stuff in it. Um, that's where most of the, like, the original Final Fantasy menagerie is straight out of Dungeons and Dragons. Until they moved that stuff on. You can look at like the early Mal Malboro, like the poison spewing tentacle thing. And it really clearly looks like a beholder. Um, there's a lot of those. A lot of the stuff came from early D&D stuff. I could, I could go on and on about that stuff. I find it all extremely fascinating. I have a game, a Super Nintendo game, that I got to put in the schedule at some point that is based off of a game made by the same company that did uh, Sword World, which was the big, like, Japan's answer to d d It was like a, a local role-playing game. It was made popular by... Uh, people crafting stories based on play reports of their game, which later became the Record of Lotus War, which is an excellent series. Um, but they pull a lot of that stuff from, from other culture. But they also have their own stuff. Some of those things get money together. You know, I, I need to ask about this as my brother. My brother would, would have an answer. It may not be correct, but he would have a lot of information. He is really big into this stuff. So I, I will have to talk with to him and then the next time the subject comes up or on stream, I will report back what he informs me of, and then I'll do some more, my own research. But I'm curious about that stuff. Yeah, this, the silver thing, like, is muddied now, at least in fiction, with movies like Underworld or Blade, that, uh, like, Blade was like, we use silver nitrate for vampires. Like, vampires? Really? Like, was silver a thing? Like, apparently now it is. And I think Underworld did some of that stuff, too, where it mixed in, like, what exactly the different vampire werewolf creatures were were weak to it's all it's all made up anyway it's all made up anyway just because just because something is old right 
Just because something's old. Like, if you found, a, like, a, you know, 7,000-year-old book that talked about the Loch Ness Monster, that doesn't make it real. It's just old. If I wrote a book right now that was full of absolute malarkey, right, about a bearded guy who uh, haunts closets and can only be harmed by celery, right? And I went and, and I went and put it out there and spread it around. Like, got the book put in libraries. Like, just smuggled it in there, right? Like, 300 years from now, that it's not going to make any of that true. It's going to be an old book. People can look at it and go, wow, people 300 years ago had strange beliefs. Like, yes, they did. It's a good way to become immortal in a, in a sort of way. I mean, that's, that is one of my goals in life is to be immortalized as an urban legend. Although as I, as I get older, I'm more and more concerned that the only immortalization I'll have is any kind of urban legend is crazy old man Jummington who lives down the street and doesn't mow his lawn. And, I, and that's probably the best bet. The Witcher and other games, the silver sword hurts any sort of magical enemy. You know what would have been more accurate for that is iron. As dumb as that sounds. Because that is a lot of European folklore. Is just like iron. Iron nails. Iron spikes. Uh, sometimes in fictional and RPG stuff, they will call it cold iron. Okay, just Googling cold iron. Cold iron weapon. Pathfinder. Cold iron. Reference real world superstitions, long believed to be able to ward off evil spirits. What is cold iron? Cold iron. Oh, here's an article from Paizo.com, makers of Pathfinder. Cold iron is a product term for iron. Francis Gross. Yeah, it's in, in those, it's like they tried to take old superstitions about iron harming supernatural creatures like fairies and put it in the game but then they couldn't just be like regular old iron it had to be special iron but the actual superstition is like iron that's what you would use that's what what you would use to fight the devil is just iron you get some you get some iron nails you get a, a staff made of iron a sword made of iron and that's what they did not like they didn't like regular old iron and i guess that's pretty boring <laughs> In a modern context, because any schmuck with a nail gun could go out there and blast them. But, I don't want to think about it. Would you have a lot of iron nails? Get a lot of zinc stuff. I dig for that. Of course, you could use a nail gun with bullets with the nails you've crafted out of silver. And that takes a lot of money. But it's all that's all that's all good fiction. But I I am curious where exactly any of that stuff comes from. It's it's strange to me. Like I I'm particularly curious not not because I'm a weeb. I'm not a weeb. Don't pay no mind to my various references to Japanese things and the wooden katana in the corner over there. That doesn't matter. Um, but I am curious, particularly in the Japanese area, if they have anything that is equivalent to a werewolf that that would pull from this. Obviously, they've got something, right? If they're translating the word Jinro to be werewolf. Is it okay? Is it Jinro game? What is Jinro game? Do the events of the game. It might not be right on. It's not like a that's some other thing. Beast side. What does Jinro? What does Jinro actually translate to? Jinro is a popular Japanese murder mystery part game. It is known as Werewolf or Mafia in the West. It it is Werewolf. It is actually Werewolf. Wait, is this is it Jinro or is it Jinrei? No, it is Jinro. No, I know Jinro the Wolf Brigade. Wolf Brigade. Wolf Brigade. Jeez. Have you ever seen the uh the live action movies that preceded the anime for Jinro? They're pretty they're pretty out there. They're pretty wild and it provides a lot more context for the story. 
Um, but it is based on his manga. Uh, it is the third film chronologically in the Kerbos, Kerbos saga. I'd like, I'd like to say it fancy like, and that's probably incorrect. Kerbos saga. After 1987's The Red Spectacles and 1991's Stray Dog, Kerbos Panzer Corps. Uh, which were both live action. I suggest checking them out. If you watched Jinro and enjoyed it and want a little bit more. And you aren't familiar with those, go and get those. Yeah, Jinro is just literally werewolf. So if they have a word. <laughs> they have a word for werewolf. But hamburger is a loan word, right? Not that hamburger is such a big deal. But a hamburger is a hell of a lot more common. I would think in the day-to-day -day life of the Japanese people, maybe not as much for the American people, than a werewolf. I personally, I think that hamburger would come up in conversation a lot more frequently than a werewolf. But maybe I'm wrong, and I don't know what the hell is going on in Japan, and they got some serious-ass werewolf problems. I don't know, but if they got a word for it, they got to have something. I wonder if it's like an Ainu thing. Maybe I'm just being, I don't know, the mountain people. That would make sense. Yeah, they're dealing with, with animals. You know, they saw the anime. Yeah, the live actions, I don't know where you can see them. I mean, you can you can find it. You can find anything out there. Let's, let's be real here. You can find anything out there. I'm not going to say where. You know where. But, uh, yeah, if you get a chance to watch them, they're pretty good. They're, they're I'll say they're arty. They're kind of arty. There is there is an anime series where that because they they have um I think they there is a different word or they call it something something different. No, I guess that it, that is that. Okay, never mind. So uh there's a mystery series. Um Hyoka. Uh, so, Hyoka is a Japanese word, and it means frozen treat in Japanese, but it refers to English words ice cream. Uh... And it in this the series, I'll spoil this a bit. It's only for the the first arc, but it does it doesn't go into like much of it. It's a pun. It's meant to be a pun for the the title of uh, this uh, anthology that he was involved. That this guy was involved with, Hyoka, and they had, they point out to the person like you have to write it like in English. I scream. I scream. It was like the, the pun. It was the whole thing, which was, I thought was very clever. I'm not, be, I'm not begrudging them for using that. I just, I, I, werewolf is probably much older than hamburger, you know? So that much I can, I can, I can understand, but I guess, do they just not? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if about linguistics to get into this, and I feel like I'm going to just make a fool of myself. Do they not, do they not like, are there, no, are there not new words? Or is it just more popular to, to take these, and then they're like, okay, that's what it is. Was it a certain period of time that this stuff became popular, and now it's in there? Because we're making up new, new crap all the time over here. I can't keep up with it. I try to, because I, I hear this stuff. I see this stuff on the internet. I'm on the web all day looking this stuff up. People are talking about the Ohio Rizzler, and I'm just like, what the, what the hell are you talking about? I'm like, well, you know what Riz is, right? Like, no, I don't. I got to look this up. I swear to God, like Urban Dictionary is replacing, is, is becoming the site that replaces TV tropes. Got to keep up with all the weird-ass lingo. People out there. Although I find it funny when people use the, use the lingo and people like, reel back in horror like oh 
oh, I can't believe you said that. I'm like, no, that's pretty funny. That's pretty, that's pretty funny. I'll make these goofy songs about get. I find it hysterical. But I did have to look up every word of it. Like, what exactly are they talking about? All right. Well, I'm I'm way off the rails here of where I uh, where I originally was, which was the werewolf game that I have finally put to bed. I'm I'm ninety percent satisfied. I'm ninety percent satisfied. I'd be a hundred percent satisfied if I could get to a point where I could chew through it without without save states. And uh, that is something that I would have to practice quite a ways to to get that done. So that would be a while, <laughs> honestly. Um, the question I have now is, what's going to be next? Let me pull up my list. I I can tell you there is one game besides Battletoads that I am the most, like, uh, it's interesting how rigid Japan's rule for loan words are. Yeah. I, I need to look into that more. My familiarity with it is, is low. I am not a, I know a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of vague, unconnected stuff. And when it comes to things of actual value, things that I would actually value, I find I'm often quite ignorant. Where are you? Come to me, window. Okay. All right, I'm looking at... Okay, why... There's no zoom here. Where's my zoom? Why can't I zoom, zoom, zoom this photo? And rotate this around for easy reading. Okay. This is the list. This is the games in the box. And I need... Any suggestion for what anyone would like to see next? Otherwise, I will pick one that suits my fancy. We have defeated Werewolf. We have defeated Ninja Turtles. There is Ninja Turtles 2, which is the port of the arcade game. Uh, some of these games I can kind of cross out here, like World Class Track Meet. I'm taking that right off of there. I don't believe... I own the mat. I no. I know I don't have the mat for that. And I my setup here would not allow for me to put the track and field mat, the old NES track and field mat down here. Somebody might have it. My brother might have. No, he wouldn't have it. He would have hawked that off years ago. I don't know what why we would have gotten rid of that and still kept the track and the track meet, world class track meet. Unless I'm wrong. I believe the world-class track meet goes with that mat. Yeah, it used to be called stadium events. Yeah. Uh, North American version rebranded by Nintendo. Game is released. World-class track meet and the new mat title, the Power Pad. Okay. Uh, North American original copies of stadium events not considered in the rarest video games. Okay, well, this is not stadium events, so it's not valuable at all. Okay, so that's out. World class track meet is out. Never enjoyed any of the NES sports games. Well, I'm I'm leading up to that because I got one in here. I don't know the whole story with that. That one's out. Just got. I don't have the pad. I don't have the pads at all. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tangle with it. And th unless I guess I look into it and there's something to do with the controller. I, d I don't think so. Uh, I think I can roll that out. Dr. Mario. I don't need to, to go through Dr. Mario. It's like Tetris. And I, well, it's just to say it's a bad thing, but it's like, I need a game that has like a start and end to it. You know, Dr. Mario or Tetris. I don't own Tetris for the NES, but I have Dr. Mario. You know why I have Dr. Mario? Because my mom liked Dr. Mario. My mom stole the NES and played Dr. Mario for hours and hours. Now, granted, this was after we had moved on to, respectively, my Super Nintendo, my brother's Sega Genesis, and she had the Nintendo hooked up in her office with Dr. Mario and played Dr. Mario for hours and hours. She was quite good at it. She got quite far. Um, I'm not going to play Dr. Mario. I have Battletoads, which terrifies me to my bones. Uh, 
We finished Fester's Quest. Bubble Bobble. Bubble Ball is not so scary, but I vaguely remember there's some point where if you take like a wrong turn, so to speak, like you just screw yourself out of the ending. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, along with Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt I can't do. I don't have any displays that would support the light gun. So light gun games are just, that's out. Unless I could figure something else out that. I wouldn't mind playing Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers 2 is not in this box, but it could become in this box. But I have beat Super Mario Brothers 2 many times, so that's hardly like I've beaten all of these. Those are hardly like gotta beat them. So those those will move down to later. Play this some other day. So what does it leave us with? Godzilla. I think I just got bored of that one. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember where I got stuck in that. I wouldn't mind playing Godzilla. It's a weird one. It's like a strategy game. Uh, Rampage, which I don't know if Rampage has like a single player story end kind of thing. I don't know if that's worth going with. Nin Ninja Gaiden. I will play Ninja Gaiden. Maybe I'll do Ninja Gaiden left since I've got my exercise on werewolf here. So we'll look at Ninja Gaiden. Um... You know what? I need to. I don't know why I'm not. I'm so I'm so bad with this stuff. Okay. Let me. Pull in this picture so that you can see what I'm staring at here. Oh boy. Let me, let me bring this down here. All right. There's a lot more coins here. Werewolf is out. We got Godzilla. Star Tropics. Star Tropics, I wouldn't mind. I'm going to push that later. I might take this out of this box, out of the Nest Revenge, and put it with the long form, like RPG stuff. Uh, Batman, Joker's Revenge. Or is it Joker's Revenge or Return of Joker? Batman. So, I next, I think, is going to be Ninja Gaiden. We got Batman. Um, Bubble Bobble will be like a nice palette cleanser. Battle Toads. Uh, the second Turtles game. But this this game, this right here, is the one that I am absolutely dreading. Martial arts count as a sport because I like to kung fu. Uh, it depends on the context, right? Kung fu, martial arts can be a sport as in a sport game. If that's what we're, we're talking about. That can be a sport game if it is presented as like a tournament, right? It's the difference between bad dudes where you're punching dudes on the street. That's not a sports game. But Mike Tyson's punch out, you're punching people in a boxing ring. You're boxing. That's a sport now. So there are games out there that present like a karate match as like a sport karate match. Otherwise, uh, it's just a brawler. I don't know where Kung Fu would fit, but Kung Fu is a good one. But this is the, my Magic Johnson's Fast Break is the game that I most fear out of this. <laughs> I, I will play it. I will play Magic Johnson's Fast Break, a game that I have probably spent less than 10 minutes on uh, in my life. And that much, much as werewolf came from well-intentioned, but confused, uh, friends or family members going into a game store and saying, so-and-so is birthday. I need a birthday present for this person. And they like comic books and they recommend werewolf because it has a comic book, even though it has nothing to do with comic books. 
was all made up for the game. But that was enough. I know it's fine. That's fine. I, I got enjoyment out of it then. I just was frustrated about it. I enjoyed playing it tonight, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> Magic Johnson's fast break basketball was 100% from people who I wouldn't necessarily say were well-intentioned. Maybe they were. Maybe I'm being unfair. Who thought, I don't personally understand this video game thing. Personally, I like sports. Hey, there is a sports video game. They will enjoy that. This pasty nerd who won't leave the house, who doesn't enjoy sports and likes video games, will surely like this basketball-based video game. Okay. I remember being very displeased about it, and I don't think I hit it that well <laughs> when I was given the gift. And it has sat in that box... I don't think anyone has taken it out of that box since it went into the box many, many years ago. I can't imagine anybody has touched it. I hate to say it, but it will be on the list at some point. I don't know what the end game of that is. Is there an end game to a basketball video game? There has to be. There has to be like a season or something. I don't know. I would have to look at how to even define that. That's how out of touch I am with it. But that, that one will still probably be before Battletoads. Battletoads has to be the end. Because Battletoads is... Battletoads will be the absolute nightmare. And I have a feeling that after I finish Battletoads, I'm, I'm going to like... I'll be walking away from the NES for some time. Is is my feel. At least for that sort of game. Those are Those are rough. Yes, but Ninja Gaiden is what I uh, will put on the schedule for next week. Next Wednesday, we'll hit up Ninja Gaiden. I expect it will take longer than this game did, even though it has roughly the same amount of levels. No, I can't say that. Because I think it's got like three parts to every level. Three three stages of every level. Three levels of every stage. How are you to find that? I think that goes to six. Slightly longer. A little bit more challenging but a little bit more i hate to say this about ninja gaiden i think it's more forgiving than werewolf if, if ever so slightly but then it's also a game where like you kind of have to know where the power-ups are you kind of have to know where the guys are but what i will say about ninja gaiden is ninja gaiden has unlimited continues and aside from the final boss you are not too badly punished for having to continue it's not terrible so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, what else I got? We're rounding out to the end of the week. We got one more stream this week tomorrow. Alone in the Dark is back again. A game that I struggle <laughs> to compose thumbnails for that aren't just, you know, Carnby's face staring blankly. Every time I try to, I've tried taking screenshots while I played the game. And the screenshot key is not working. I don't. I should check to see if there's a specific screenshot key within the game itself for capturing screenshots, or if perhaps it maps to a controller button. I don't think so. But typically, Steam games F12 will do it, and it didn't do it for that one. It did once. It took one screenshot. And now I have to figure out what I hit to take that screenshot because when I I, it was a screenshot that I have no recollection of, but there were like three or four other screenshots I tried to take that they just they never happened. So <laughs> that's why every time I put a, a thumbnail for the game, I'm like, well, this is what I got. Maybe I can, uh, yeah, just, just for that game though, just for that game, it did work once, or there's another button that did it that I, that I accidentally hit. But the screenshot is one that it's positioned like perfectly, like I had to have consciously taken that. But it also captured the mouse cursor, which was irritating. I had to Photoshop that out of there. I'll figure it out. I'll sort it out. But I've tried, I also, for a lot of times, I go back through the previous video and grab, uh, take a screen grab out of that. Because now on YouTube, uh, you can double right click and it will pull up a second menu and you can take uh, save an image of the current frame of the video, which is very nice. Because previously I'd have to try and like screen grab it. It was a pain. The problem is that 
every time I want to grab something from the game from a previous recording, it's me, it's Carnby, beating the crap out of something with, uh, with a pickaxe. And I can't get a clear image that isn't like motion blurred all the hell that wouldn't just look terrible blown up to uh the proportions of a of a thumbnail so <laughs> i haven't grabbed one of those sometimes there there's uh like wikis for games that have really nice uh rendered photos of enemies or stuff i haven't found that for this game i don't like to use those too heavily either because i feel a little i don't know i feel a little iffy. i've used those for phasmophobia to slap the ghosts in there it's easier than trying to go into the game and capture a, a <laughs> an actual image of a ghost without dying. Anyway, so that's tomorrow. Same jump time, same jump channel uh, for Alone in the Dark. We're in the final chapter. I don't know how close we are to ending it, but even if I do end it real quick, I'll probably just turn right back around and jump into a new game because there's two different characters you can play as, and apparently to get the full and complete picture, you got to play both. And then possibly a third time if you if you screwed something up, maybe because there are there are collectibles and stuff. Maybe some stuff that I missed, but we'll find out. I'm excited. The game's really fun. It's very atmospheric. Uh, the combat is it's okay for what it is. It's fun. I haven't found it to be particularly challenging on the mode that I'm playing it on, which I think is just normal mode. Uh, but it 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 does you know sometimes. It, it does a good job of like really broadcasting parts like, hey, there's going to be fight here. And you're like, I can see all the signs. There's all these Molotovs lying around, the health packs. I'm going to fight stuff here. And you get all set up and there is a fight there. And because you knew about it, it's very easy. And you're like, whoo, that went really smooth. And you take two steps out the door and a dude jumps out at you. Then they're like, surprise, gotcha. It's done that a couple times. It does a very good job with that. It does a very good job with creepy noises. The music is spectacular. The game looks nice. Um, about the only complaint I can levy against it is so minor that I, it only bothers me because of the the dollar amount that I paid for the game. But that's also the newness of it fits in. And that is the stuttering uh, during cutscenes. I don't even mind it so much like the traversal stuttering where it loads a new area. I can live with that. That is totally fine. I just don't want it in the cutscenes. That is the only thing I can gripe about in it. But like the story has been really interesting. I love all the callbacks to the original games. It's great. Uh, I'm dying to know where it's going. Uh, it's really fun. So I hope that uh, if you have watched that, you will come back around for what may be the thrilling conclusion of playthrough one. Uh, if you haven't, uh, I could come by anyway. You know, that's up to you. Um, all are welcome, I guess. Uh, otherwise, that'll, that'll, tomorrow we'll be do it for the week and we'll be back again next week uh, with who knows what. Uh, we'll finish. Uh, I assume we'll finish Day of the Tentacle on Tuesday next week. I'm hoping there's more than five minutes <laughs> left in the game. I really should have ended that earlier because I did look up the time to finish and I was just really into it. So that happens sometimes, but that is for next week. Uh, Lone in the Dark tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Werewolf. Hope you learned something. Even if that something is just how painful that game can be. <laughs> and how bad I am at getting through it. I did finish it. So thanks as always for hanging out. Thanks for chatting with me. Uh, hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. And uh, anyway, goodbye. <laughs> to, quote, uh, to quote that, I, could, I can't pull it off. It's too harsh. Uh, yeah, so until next time, I'll see you all later. So long, everybody. Goodbye. Anyway, bye.